What's up guys? I know I said I'd be a lot more consistent this year and that is my fault, but uh, I thought I'd come back and showcase a couple of my recent pickups. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've probably seen me talk about them before, and if you don't, follow me on both platforms. It is BLVCK, hoodie with three E's. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into a couple of my recent pickups. <laughs> And I know I said that this year I'll be saving money rather than spending it, but uh, life happens. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for the first pickup, I actually have this Basket Case Gallery Spider-Man hoodie. Um, it's like this wash gray colorway, super heavy. It's not double layered, but it is fleece inside. Hood is humongous. I received an email where they were talking about how people have been receiving them and been talking about the quality of it and them not being a fan and that you could send it back to get a new one. And as soon as I saw that email, it kind of made me nervous. And it's it says it's vintage washed, but it's just a gray blank. The graphic that you really kind of can't even see all that much. Like, I know what it is, but I asked my mom, I was like, yeah, what do you think this is? And she goes, I don't know, a cake? I don't know, man. I kind of feel different about it, but it's a cool little piece. So my next pickup is one of those like 2 a.m. the real real like late night sessions. You know what I'm talking about? I was sitting there, I was scrolling, and I had this item saved to my like wish list for ages. It's a Prada, I believe, 2007 like wool hoodie, like zip up jacket type thing, and I had it saved in my likes for I don't know how long but uh I decided to just go ahead and grab it it's a women's piece so it's like a x double xl to fit me but it's it's perfect it's cropped boxy the only thing I will say is since the hood is so massive it kind of like swings back on you you kind of feel the weight of it kind of like pushing down the sleeves kind of balloon towards the bottom just because of like how tight the in cuff is here. Sucks that now we're entering the summer months, so I won't get too much wear in it, but it's cool, man. It's a cool little pickup. So anyway, on to the next piece. My last pickup video, I had a Bottega Veneta leather jacket. I ended up selling it because it was way too big and I just couldn't commit to the wear of the jacket due to how big it was. And I just liked it from the leather texture is isn't like anything I've seen before. It's like this, like this. Uh, what's the word? Crumble, crumble, uh, crinkled, crinkle, crinkle. That's the word. Like this crinkled leather, and it's super, super sick. Love the color. I let. I love that it's like a button up, like blouse and type, rather than like a pure zip up. So I feel like you can almost like you can really kind of dress it down or dress it up more than like a regular leather, leather jacket. But as you can tell, I like Prada. I've always liked Prada, always will like Prada. I'm just a big fan. But next pickup. So next pickup is kind of a wild one. I love what PAF does. Um, I've owned so many pieces, it's not even funny. I've owned probably like 10 technical jackets that I've like sold and kept. But my thing is I always kind of stay in my lane. Like I'm always either buying black clothing, white clothing, or somewhere in between neutral colors wise. I wanted to kind of step out. So what I ended up grabbing was from their new 5.0 Plus collection, they had like these blue, like almost like thermal-like pants. Super sick. Their whole 5.0 Plus collection, I'm a huge fan of it. I wanted every piece, but you know, PAF money is uh, hard to come by. So I went ahead and I grabbed this, and it's like these like thermal print, but it's like everything's like double zipped or lined with like some other texture and it has like this orange color underneath for like a little bit of a pop with like all the zippers and stuff like that. They're super, super sick. Can you hear it? Hold on. It's like ASMR. Grabbed these, kind of step out of my comfort zone. And I love them. Huge, huge fan of them. I don't really have any complaints about them either. It's just going to take me time to like get used to them because like for me, if I wear them like this, I'm just going to downplay it with like a black or a white, like I'm not gonna go too, too crazy, but I think for like stepping out of my comfort zone, going with like PAF is probably the best way to do it for me. Speaking of trousers and speaking of things out of my comfort zone, I made a TikTok not too long ago talking about how I haven't bought sweatpants in like four years. I just haven't owned sweatpants. Like I've owned maybe like needles track pants, but like I don't really consider those sweatpants and I don't even wear them like that. 
So Stussy and Nike had a collab and I actually did a modeling gig where I was able to like wear it and try it on. I really, really liked it and I wanted to pick them up, but I decided not to pull the trigger on release day and I regretted it. During that time, I was out and I really, really was craving a pair of sweatpants. So I decided to pick these up and I got the blue and the black pair of the sweatpants themselves. And I will say I've been wearing them probably for like a month straight now. Super, super comfy. You really can't go wrong with a pair of sweatpants. It is odd for me personally um, because I'm just not used to sweatpants. I feel like I didn't own sweatpants because I almost felt like I was just dressing lazy. But I thought the blue ones, I didn't grab the gray ones because I felt like that was kind of like cliche. I don't know, it felt boring. Blue ones almost look more like acid washed, if you can tell. They have like more of this like acid wash, like kind of like pattern to them. I grabbed the black Stussy crew neck as well. Been wearing it an absolute ton. Sizing is kind of crazy though. For reference, I'm 5'11", about 155, 160 on a bad day. And in the crew neck, I have a size extra small. Yeah, in the crew neck, I have a size extra small. And in all my sweats, they're all a size medium. But for some odd reason, the blue sweats fit me much bigger than the black sweats. I don't, I don't understand why, but it's whatever. It's cool. It's a pair of sweatpants and a crew neck. Can't really go wrong. On to the next pickup. So next pickup, I have this Uniqlo J.W. Anderson striped button up. And I saw the collection and I really, really liked it. But there wasn't like too much that like grabbed my attention from the collection itself. Apart from this, and the only reason why I realistically even grabbed it is because after the Bottega Veneta, like fall, winter 20, or no, spring, summer 22, 23, they kept wearing this like beige and like red striped button up, and I really, really liked it, and I wanted one, but you know, I, I just know Bottega Veneta prices, when they come out, it's gonna be something crazy. So this one really, really reminded me of that like same type of pattern, as you can see, like in the detailing and like, like just in the way it's kind of striped and everything. I mean, it's just a button up. It'd be cool for like the spring, summer, just kind of wearing it around very casually, like a wide pair of trousers. So going on to the next pickups, I think I should move on to like t-shirts and things of those sorts. I've been a huge fan of like this like fur, like faux fur texture. So it's like I bought the Prada Fall Winter 17 like fur belt and I've been absolutely loving it. I was on eBay like late at night, just kind of scrolling and I was looking at some Dries Unknown pieces and I saw this vest. And honestly, I don't even have that much information on the vest as a whole because from what I what I learned and what I've seen, it seems like it was kind of like a one-off piece. And the, the lady who sold it to me, she was talking about how she only used it for a photo shoot that it wasn't even worn like naturally. It has a cotton liner and it's a leather vest as a whole. It was, I'm pretty sure, produced for women. It's a size 44, but it fits me fine, fits me great. Just throw it on with a white t-shirt and a pair of blue jeans and call it a day. So, like I was saying, I love PAF and I love that 5.0 collection. So, I picked up this white t-shirt and all it has is just Post Archive Faction on the back. I don't even know if you can see it. But it, it's, it's like the see-through sheer material. It's made of Lyle Cell, which I didn't know what that was. I had to do some research. And basically Lyle Cell is like a sustainable new, not new, it's relatively new. It was made back in the 70s, but it's from wood. You take like wood pulp and you like keep, like you do this chemical reaction to it and then it turns into a fiber and then you can use that fiber to then create yarns and then use that to make your t-shirts and things of those sorts. But uh, it's it's super sick because it's like odor wickering and or odor wicking. It resists odor, doesn't soak up sweat, all that type of stuff. So you see it a lot more in like athletic materials, like athletic attire rather than uh, normal clothes. But it kind of gives like this sheer see through, but it's like super super soft. Like almost feels like if you were to take a cloud, you were to like bring it back down. That's how I picture this feels. But yeah, just grab the t-shirt. Next pickup is this beautiful, beautiful jersey. And my favorite jersey that we ever had was during 2007, 2008. And I recently was able to acquire this iconic jersey. I ended up picking this up. I, I did have to pay a decent little price for it, but I mean, dude, 
Look at it, it's beautiful. It's so, so nice. Great condition. And I've honestly been wearing this a ton recently. Not in like a bloke core way, cause it's like, if you don't play the sport and you like throw on a jersey, it's corny to me, like it's just weird. But it's like, if you play the sport and like, I don't do it where it's just like, oh, jersey, jeans, Adidas on, but it's like, I might wear this with like a pair of trousers or like a pair of like derbies or something. Like I'm gonna dress it up in a way. And honestly, it just sits, it sits right up here all day, every day. It just sits up there and it chills. And I'll just like look at it and be like, yeah, dude, I own that. If you know what it is, you know what it is. Me and my cousin have been looking for this t-shirt for I don't know how long. And the thing is, is like you can buy, you can find them on the internet, but it's just like from like kind of garbage, like reproduction sites, like that are probably just printed on gilding blanks. But while me and my cousin Tariq were like looking for these, we found out that uh, there was a guy who made a book based off like football player celebrations and like the 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 undershirt goal celebration and how it kind of got removed. And he had made a book showcasing like all the undershirt celebrations. And with this book came a t-shirt and an armband. So we decided to go ahead and pick it up. And if you, if you want to know, it's called I Belong to Jesus. That's the name of the book. And it comes with this t-shirt. There are only is one size. It's a size large. So this does fit me kind of big. But I just really, really like it because of the, you know, the iconic Kaka celebration. And just really just for what it is. You know what I mean? So super, super sick. I don't even know how much I'll wear it realistically. I'll probably wear it when I'm like, I'm kicking around and I'm like at the field and stuff like that, but super, super sick. And speaking about being on the field, next pickup was actually a pair of boots. I've been wearing the same Mercurials for, I don't know, three, four years now. Somehow I haven't beat them to a pulp. So I knew it was time for me to buy new cleats. So I ended up going with the new Phantom GXs. Really, really huge fan of them, as you can tell. Uh, I've been wearing them a lot. My only issue with them, first off, before I go into the issues, let's talk about the pros. Love the colorway. This like limited edition World Cup colorway with like the pink top, dude, super, super sick. It, and by the way, if you don't play football, you're probably like, dude, I don't care. But if you do, you get what I'm saying. The grip, it, it feels kind of like a, like, a, like a glove. Now, cons, I'm a guy who plays on the wing, so I need a lot of speed and I need a lot of like, I need that springiness, like that, uh, a kickoff. These do not provide it, which I knew. I knew that they weren't going to provide it, but it, it doesn't even really give you grip due to the stud pattern at the bottom, which is like, uh, you know what I mean? Second thing, they're not, it's not like laceless, so you still have laces, if that makes any sense. So you have to like tuck your laces into here, but when you tie your shoe and you tuck your lace, it's not like a seamless thing. You can feel the bumps, so it, like it's bruised the left top of my foot because of it. And since you can't see your laces, sometimes you go to hit the ball, and you're like trying to see where your laces is to strike it. It does throw you off. I don't know if they're better than my materials, especially for the money I paid, but they look sick. You know what I mean? And that's all that matters. When you go out there and you look cool, you play, you play good. You know what I mean? Other than that, there's one more pickup and then that will be the video done. I recently, I've been looking for the praying, uh, New York Yankees hat, where it's like camo with like the fat New York Yankees logo, but dude, I haven't been able to find that anywhere. So I was just looking for like a real tree camo hat and I picked up this Carhartt one. And if you know my boy Andrew, I got one of his pins on the side here, just because I feel like living in the South, especially Tennessee, there's a fine line between like, oh, that dude's like wearing something because he thinks it's cool and like stylish and like, oh, you're just country. So it's like, if I wear cowboy boots, if I was in New York, that'd be a statement. But down here, me wearing a cowboy boot, that's not a statement. That's everyday wear. So it's like, you have to do something extra to like separate it, if that makes any sense. So I just picked up this Carhartt, like Realtree camo hat. I got it for like 15 bucks off eBay. If I have like a real basic outfit where it's like I'm wearing all black or like what I'm wearing today, where it's like blue jeans, white tee, I might throw on the hat to kind of like spice it up a little bit. That's pretty much it. That's all the pickups I've gotten recently. Once again, my fault for not posting consistently over here. I will definitely try more. I will, it's not I will try, I, I will post more on here and I will be more consistent in a way. But uh, that's it for today's video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.